Hi, I'm Linda Hall, the creative artisan and part of Shimmers Paints education team, and I'm so glad to be here today. Today, I'm going to show you a really cool surface, excuse me, design using polymer clay, gesso, rubber stamps, and a part of the Shimmers line. And pretty much, I'm going to focus on the pearls and the Shimmers paints. The pearl line that I'm going to use, the colors will be Green with Envy, Samrock, Carrot Top, Papa Purple, and from the Shimmers line, I'm going to actually be using Fire Engine Red and Lilac. What I've already done is I've already gone ahead and I have finalized and finished this polymer clay bangle bracelet which I've actually had an opportunity to take for a test drive out of uh, the studio and people seem to really love it and they love the technique and it's almost like a Monet type effect so what I've done is I've created another template for a bracelet that I'm going to be uh, creating using the same principles and so why don't we get started Basically, what I've done is this particular polymer clay bracelet uh, was actually already formed. Um, it's already been baked, cooled, and um, prior to me baking, I actually stamped the clay with a rubber stamp so I would have really cool impressions. And then after the bracelet was cooled, I utilized a product called Gesso. And basically, I used the gesso to give the actual paint some tooth so that it would really, the paint would really adhere uh, and pop on the bracelet. And I've already gone ahead and, like I said, I've covered it with the uh, gesso. And then I've already put the first layer of pearls, the green with envy. And the next color that I'm going to use will be the Samrock. Really pretty color. And I just use a stippling effect. And I'm just stippling all over this particular form. And like I said, the, basically it's going to be like watercolor. So it's free form, easy to do, and just a lot of fun. And because it's watercolor, I can go ahead and continue to overlap colors so they will blend or meld together. The next color I'm going to use is going to be Carrot Top. And that's a beautiful, rich color with some really pretty pearlized gold um, shimmer to it. And so I'm just going to basically do the same process. Just stippling it on wherever I feel comfortable. And of course, this bracelet's going to look a little different than the other bracelet, but I like to create things where they're like fingerprints, where no two are ever going to be alike. I think we all like unique things, so this is an opportunity. And then I'm going to follow with one of my favorite names in the Pearls line, Papa Purple. And Papa Purple is a deep, rich purple. And also I'm working on a smooth ceramic tile, which is great for cleanup afterwards. And now I'm going to switch over to the Shimmers line. And the two colors that I'm going to use from that line will be first the Fire Engine Red and then the Lilac. 
And I always find that the Fire Engine Red really adds pop to purple. And last but not least, I'm going to put on some lilac. And again, just with the easy little stippling effect. And what's really cool about this is once you let it dry, you can always go over it with um, some other colors that may that you may want to be primary or stand out. And, and then once you finish letting it dry and you're happy with the end results, then just use a acrylic spray let that dry and then you're good to go so i hope you enjoyed this video and i look forward to seeing you soon thank you